Hi everybody, this is an introduction to myself, Eric von Zelikom from United Nature's Edible Garden. We're a family that are located in the subtropics and we're setting up a homestead lifestyle. Uh, although I am a botanist that specializes in living architecture design, that means vertical gardens, roof gardens, plants on buildings, plants on architecture, uh, growing edibles is a whole new subject for me in my career. My wife Danielle is new to gardening and so we're embarking on a journey here. Even though I've got uh, 20 years, 27 years worth of experience in uh, specialized ecologies and botany, working with many different species, discovering the world of edibles is a whole new journey for us. It's going to be an adventure we're embarking on. It's going to involve many trials, uh, many new ways of approaching doing things as well. We're creating a healthy lifestyle. We're going to be producing our own food. We're creating habitat in our garden. And my speciality is working with ecologies, which means my job for the living architecture uh, sphere is to travel the world and to study plants in habitat, to understand what their life story is. Each plant grows in an ecology. It's uh, spent eons busy evolving into the forms that they are and they all produce uh, particular outcomes in habitats. Plants are agents of change. And what we're doing here is we're living a frugal lifestyle. We're using our garden block to create rainforest, but while we're doing this, it's edibles. Not just rainforest, but we're gonna be having adventures in traditional veggie growing from in the ground in rows to raised garden beds, wicking beds, but we're also gonna be trying uh, syntropic agroforestry and uh, food forest concepts. Now, as we walk through our gardens, you'll see that there are quite a few different things that are going on here. We've started from scratch. This garden was barren, it was dry, the soils were caked hard, very nutrient poor. It was just grass from one side to the other. And slowly but surely, we've used the one, two or three trees we've got and we're developing uh, beautiful, rich organic soils. We're experimenting with a range of different ways where we can use plants to do most of the work for us. Because it's a demanding lifestyle we have, and being parents, quite dedicated in fact, uh, we don't have too much time for gardening. So the plants really are the workhorses of what we're doing. But as we're doing this and we're developing our new uh, subtropical food palette, we're also enjoying it as a family, watching our son grow, watching him get involved in everything we're doing. And more importantly, we're learning as well and how to create a human habitat for ourselves. This habitat is quite an important concept because for a lot of people, we live in the cities and we'll have traffic noise in the background. We're sandwiched in by big roads and other properties. We have a quarter acre, about 1,215 square meters. So not acreage. And although I mentioned we're gonna be doing lots of different things in this garden, we're gonna be working in very compact manner as well. One thing we're gonna enjoy doing is sharing with you how we are learning and experimenting to do things. And this is going to involve quite a few mistakes, uh, things that we learn fortuitously, but there's also going to be a lot of planning, a lot of structure, and a lot of hard thinking about how we're going to approach doing things like this. Uh, you'll see how I've constructed things in the garden that are going to assist me to not have to repeat jobs. We're going to be looking at low maintenance. We're going to be looking at designing with nature as opposed to against it. Uh, we're going to be building soils from scratch. We're going to be using everything in the garden as a resource that we can have a play with, that we can work carefully with, and we can nurture and nourish. You'll see uh, areas that we've worked on where things just didn't work really well, where we had to think twice about it. And one of the great learning uh, stories we have here is that the, the accidents and the mistakes that we did have, accidents in terms of things we learned fortuitously and mistakes where we miscalculated or didn't think about something quite so well, they're not, they're not losses at all. We're proving that everything is a learning curve for us, something to be celebrated, something to be enjoyed, but we're also experiencing a lot of success. And one of the major things for us is using plants to do a lot of the work for us. I'm sure a lot of you can appreciate that as, as we work through life, there's often not too much time unless you're fully dedicated to producing your own food, not all of us can have a farm on our properties. Not all of us can have trees. Uh, some of us can only work with pots, etc. But what we're doing here is we're using our garden to do multiple things for us. It's not only a habitat that keeps us healthy. It's our pharmacy. It's our food production. And 
it's habitat for all the surrounding things that we work with too. So one thing we've done is we're growing organically. We're using plants and beneficial insects to do a lot of the securing and protection of our crops, the pollinating. We've got native stingless bees that we're having a play with. But more importantly, a lot of this is very new to us. And you'll find that as you accompany us through this journey, we're going to be able to develop a dialogue. Hopefully with your feedback, we can develop a channel here that is responsive, something that is fun, something that we can truly uh, test different ways and acknowledge and understand that each of us has a totally different approach to it, a different family, a different climate, a different home, different palettes of food that we do and don't like eating, uh, different ways of teaching and philosophies and how to approach life. And so please, Come and join with us, come and experience the journey, share with us, and let's work together towards developing something that will grow and grow and grow, and hopefully we will grow with it too.